Hey Divas, what's up? It's your girl Diva and welcome back to Diva's house. So it's time for a mini haul guys and it's some stuff that I got from AliExpress and I know how much you guys have enjoyed my AliExpress or Wish hauls in the past. So I have another small one plus some items that I got from Marshall slash TJ Maxx. So stay tuned if you guys want to see what I got because it's haul time. It's Diva's house. over time this is not like one shopping trip or whatever I've kind of just been holding on to this stuff because I didn't want to bring you a video where I just showed you one thing at a time I figured after some time of me just getting these things that I would show them to you and because um, I've been focusing more so on if I'm doing any kind of shopping more so on baby girl cuz she's growing and I wanted to make sure she had clothes to wear to daycare. She's starting to grow out of her shoes. So that has been priority and I've been trying to catch up on some bills. So these things, when I saw them for the price that they were, I picked them up here and there, but nothing major. So I went into Marshalls a while back and I stumbled upon this lovely little treat. And if you guys are familiar with new me, that you know about a Numi wand. Now this is not like the, the Numi wand that you've probably seen in other YouTube gurus videos. This one does not, the barrel tops do not detach. So it doesn't come with the attachments. This is just the wand itself. Um, and this is Numi's 32 millimeter classic wand. I got mine in turquoise. So it does heat up to 410 degrees. And I'll show you what my wand looks like because I have been using it. You can't tell because my curls have fallen. I haven't been using holding spray. I just kind of wand curl a few in the front every morning and hit the door. So this is what the wand looks like. It does have the on and off switch right there. And like I said, it heats up to 410 degrees. Also inside came this little booklet. And if you know anything about a Numi wand, you know it comes with the glove to protect your hand that you're holding the hair with as you um, wrap it around the wand. Now my only dislike about this curling wand is I can't control the temperature that it goes up to. I have a um, gold and hot I believe it is or whatever that brand is that you can get in Sally's or at the different beauty supply store. Um, and I can control the temperature on that. It also comes, that curling wand that I have is a clip type, type of curling wand. So, you know, you hold it open, wrap your hair around it, and clip it down so it holds the hair. Um, and it comes with a kickstand so that I can just sit it on my counter while I separate my next part of hair to curl. This doesn't come with a kickstand for me to put it on, so I have nothing to put it on, and it heats up quickly. So I have to use like a rag or a washcloth, a dry one, to um, sit this on while I am sectioning off hair to curl. Um, and of course it's clipless, so you don't get those ridges from like your curling iron, like it'll leave those little dents from the clip, which is really nice, so I really like that. Can't really complain too bad about it for the price. It was $24.99 and I guess it says com as compared to $50. So I guess regularly this would cost about $50. Bucks, but this was $24.99. So it was half the price. So this came in the 32. I believe they carried a 25 millimeter. And it came in turquoise, black, and pink. I chose the turquoise just because my room decor is kind of that black and turquoise and white more so of the lending to the Tiffany blue section but yeah I wasn't complaining I actually really love the color blue if any of you guys know me know me well 
So next, I found some goodies, and this is going to be makeup stuff. So if you guys follow me on Snapchat, and I will go ahead and post my Snapchat name right over here for you guys. Um, if you have seen me show this, I think I showed this like one time on my Snapchat, where I found the Kat Von D Shade and Light Blushes. And these were a steal. So I got these for about $5.99 a piece. And I have now three of them. Because I've gone in quite a few times. Just to just get my Shopkick points. And if you guys don't know anything about Shopkick. I'll let you know more about it at the end of the video. Um, but I kind of popped in there every now and then to just browse. Because I might have been looking for storage items. Or I might have been looking for clothes for baby girl. Because sometimes I find really good deals on like Ralph Lauren for her. Um, I like the quality of polo for her, so I will go in there and see if I find anything for her. So I did find over time three blushes and their True Romance Eyeshadow Trio in Dreamer that I got. So I also have my blushes are in Fife and Poe, Mickey and Mallory, and Morticia and Gomez. And these were each $5.99. And the eyeshadow trio, which is very neutral, um, in color, and I'm actually wearing one of the colors in the palette today, and this was $7.99 at Marshall's. So since I've been back in there, I haven't seen any other eyeshadow items, but I guess if I travel around to different Marshall's, I might find other things. So let's move on to some stuff that I got from AliExpress and my One Wish item. Alright guys, so we're going to talk Wish and AliExpress. So my one Wish item is this pouch. And of course it's blue because blue is my favorite color. Um, and this I just use, it's in, goes in my purse, it fits in that little purse caddy I have. So when I want to transfer from bag to bag, it fits right inside. Inside comes with my, um, I have my portable charger in here. A pen. My headphones normally go in here, so I don't never leave home without those, especially if I find that I'm going to go somewhere after work, and I'm going to need my Bluetooth, so I usually toss my headphones in here, and my vlogging camera, which is my Canon N2 camera. So, yeah. I don't vlog very often, but I figured why not have it in here, and I got this a while ago just for the purpose of vlogging and being able to take more um, crisp pictures. So I'm like, my phone does the bomb.com job. I, I haven't really used the camera yet, but I'll let you know how good or bad the camera is. I've seen some reviews on the camera. Some people said they didn't like it because of the quality. But for the price that I got it, because I get like Best Buy reward points and stuff like that, I had a big coupon off. And the price I got it at, it was awesome. So it was either this or the... Um, Nikon, but that had a flip out and I like the fact that this one flipped up so I can see myself, you know, head on versus looking at the side like with my Samsung camcorder that I record on. So this is what's all in here. I'll post the um, information to this pouch that I got and like I said, I got it off of Wish I think for like three bucks and that included shipping. Um, so on to AliExpress. So my first item from AliExpress um, you guys have seen all of my brushes, and if you haven't seen the videos for my dupe brushes and how I got the separate face brushes and the separate eye brushes, I'll post the link to that video down below. And I had them just sitting in a cup on my desk, but I was like, I wanted something really cute. And I was watching Donna Elise, her channel here on the YT, um... She had posted that she had gotten a holder from Amazon. And I was like, well, let me go check and see what AliExpress had. And not knocking Amazon, but I figured I'll probably get something really, really cheap on AliExpress. So I did find this one, and this had a really cool curved design. I don't know if you guys can see it. But I did get this one. This was about 5 I want to say about $5 and change. And like I said, I'll post all the information to this down below. It came... In pieces so it was um, one two three four five pieces it was easy to connect these little pieces here at the side there's one in the back to hold it make it sturdy and another one here and I just had to pop them all together this came in clear because I have all the clear storage I figured 
why not get it in clear it also came in black white and red so if you're looking for something to go with your kind of vanity the decor this is a great piece to have and a great way to display your brushes and also to let them kind of sit up and dry now i usually just lay mine down face flat on the bristle so the water drains down onto a towel but this is probably another great way to do it but I like it just for display purposes so this is up on top of my side um, storage area on top of that shelf and I keep them here for display my next item that I got was something that I kind of been saying for a while that I had needed and just because if you guys follow me on Instagram you saw there was a um, picture where I posted where I did my filling myself because it was one of those weeks that I didn't have any money and my nails needed to be filled in really really bad so I had gotten the stuff from like a beauty supply store just to do it the cheap little kit to do it and I didn't have a nail drill so that it looked like I had professionally done my nails and using the nail file I kind of filed areas of my skin and that ended up hurting so I figured why not invest so I did my research and looked around I didn't want anything big and elaborate because of course they had the bigger sets that came with the base and all the other stuff but I didn't want to spend that much money because I don't think I'll be using this too too often but I do like to do my at home pedicures and to get that dead skin out from my toes this would work great too so it is a professional nail drill um great for manicures and pedicures this was about $5.91 on AliExpress I got it it came with the drill the plug of course to plug it in and it came with um US base plug and a European plug so I ordered it for the US base plug but you can get it for a European base plug because if you if you know anything about the different plugs from um, Europe based countries to American countries our plugs look very different so it also came with the different bits and of course the round emery um, portions to file your nails and this was all of five dollars and ninety one cents so for me this was a great investment to watch again so the next two items I believe are going to be brushes and then I have one last huge item to show you guys. So this fan brush is a small little mini fan brush because I found that my bigger fan brushes were just way too big to put on my highlight. Sorry about that guys. To put on my highlight and it wasn't getting it as detailed as it was like and sometimes it would pack on too much. Of highlight onto my face so I wanted a smaller fan brush I paid about 68 cents for this one which was a really good bargain I will post the link to this seller down below if they still are selling these but it was 68 cents and I might even go back and order another one and it's nice and long handle and it picks up the product really nicely and places it right where I need it to be my face so this brush is going to look very similar if you have seen the, I won't say, I guess if you've seen the original. So if you're a fan of Marc Jacobs or have seen the Marc Jacobs brushes, this brush looks very similar to a Marc Jacobs brush. There's no labeling on this brush. What I will say that makes this brush very different from a tradi the traditional Marc Jacobs brush that looks like this, this is a lot lighter. I have gone into Sephora and felt the actual Marc Jacobs brushes and it's a little bit heavier in terms of the handle. But I do love this. The bristles on this brush are so nice and soft, guys. So buttery soft. And it has a little wiggle to it, which is kind of funny. Um, but this brush, I think, was either about $2.53 or $3 or something like that. I'll post that information down below. And this is a face brush, so great for powder and stuff of that nature. So I got one of these. And my last item, I think should be my last item from AliExpress, is this gorgeous handbag. Now you're probably saying, Diva, this bag looks like 
a very high-end brand and I won't say the name if you guys are into fashion you know what brand this looks like but I've done kind of done my research slightly and I've seen that there's another brand US based company I believe um that has their bag looks very similar to that bag so I was just browsing around and I saw I knew for a fact that I just didn't have $500 right now to spend on the that particular company's bag not the higher higher end bag um and I just kind of was browsing around on AliExpress one day and I came across this bag and I was like oh I don't have a hot pink bag one I love the shape of this bag I don't have anything like it and the detail of it was so pretty and I just liked the way that it closed and I was like well I don't know have five hundred dollars to spend right now and even if I did maybe I would have purchased it but then I have other important things to do so this bag was really really affordable it was about 26 bucks it came with this pretty scarf to tie here so I tied it here on my purse and this came from wish I got this a really long time ago you guys have probably seen this in one of my last wish hauls um, and it opens up just like this so there's no zipper to this bag and it has this the pieces on the side you just pull those into drawer it close in it is very roomy on the inside it has a zipper pocket on this side and just a push pocket on the other side and it also comes with the lock detail like that bag the only difference is you don't have to use a key for this one you can just pull it up and down and it opens so it opens on like on a spring type method um this is very roomy this is a 35 I believe they're 35 centimeter size bag. They also comes in a 30, and they had a couple of different other colors. I believe black, um, white, red, and a few other colors. I'll post down below. Um, but this was about 26 dollars. I want to say I spent on it. Um, this was cheaper because their black bag was about 33 dollars, and I think I may go back and get that black one because I was looking for an, uh, another good black handbag because I have my coach black handbag but that one is a cloth one and sometimes when you're going out in the rain and stuff you don't want to get that wet so this I thought the leather was really pretty it is a very soft texture it gives very nicely but it does hold a lot I've gotten a lot of compliments with this bag of course everybody wants to know where I get my bags from I have some bags that, are, that don't come here from the states at all you won't find them in the store that I've ordered if you guys have seen my Eric K um bags before if you have not I'll post a link to Eric K down below you can go follow them on Instagram they are awesome and you can tell them the diva sent makeup by diva sent you over to check them out because they have some beautiful bags on their site but yes this one came from AliExpress I absolutely love 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 this bag this has been my best purchase for the summer I have worn this thing out so yes, if you guys want to see uh, what's in my purse kind of video, please comment down below. Let me know. I've noticed it's been a while since I've done one of those videos. I think the last time I did one of those was for my diary at home mom, and it was a what's in my baby bag that I only use whenever I take out baby girls. So yeah, I use my purse on a day to day because I go to work just about every day. So I know it's been a while since I've posted a diary of at home moms. So for all of my at home moms who were loving those videos, comment down below if you want to see those and want to hear more stories about baby girl. I may come back and do another one of those videos or maybe try to do them once a month. I know originally I said I was going to try to do them twice a month. But there's not much that goes on for me at home because I work about four days a week, four hours a day sometimes a little bit longer if somebody gives up a shift so I tend to be out of the house more which is great for me because it means I'm out of the house and I'm just not in the house which I kind of do miss I'm not gonna lie but she's growing up and I need her to be more sociable with other children for when she does actually start school which is still a ways away but anyway my fabulous divas that's all the stuff I have for you guys from um wish AliExpress and Marshalls if I find any other great finds you know I'm gonna come back and share them with you guys because I know 
all of my divas like great bargains and they love great finds. So in the meantime, my fabulous divas, y'all know what to do. Y'all stay fab because you know your girl is too. I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.